From the air and on the ground, Israeli forces could be seen along the border with Gaza Friday. <laughs> Defense Minister Yoav Gallant says Israel does not plan to control life in Gaza once it destroys Hamas and there's no longer a threat. The Hamas-controlled Palestinian territory has been devastated by Israeli airstrikes since the group brutally killed more than 1,000 Israeli civilians nearly two weeks ago and took more than 200 people hostage, including this mother and her young children. I try not to think about the worst. This is the only thing that keeps me going. In a speech last night, President Biden made the case for his $105 billion funding request to Congress which would include support for Israel and Ukraine. It's a smart investment that's going to pay dividends for American security for generations. The Pentagon is also preparing to send two Iron Dome missile defense systems to Israel in the next few days to prevent more rockets from reaching targets here in Tel Aviv and elsewhere as concerns mount the violence will escalate into a wider conflict. In the West Bank, residents of a refugee camp surveyed the damage following a deadly battle Thursday involving Israeli troops. I'm angry, but what we can do, yeah. So we just can pray for them to be safe. And Israel ordered the evacuation of one of the biggest towns on its northern border with Lebanon after a rocket attack from Hezbollah injured several people. Ian Lee, CBS News, Tel Aviv.